So I was looking for a desktop replacement laptop with a large high resolution screen, high refresh rate and something which I could use for work, casual gaming and light video editing too. And it should be relatively future proof for at least 4 to 5 years. So I went ahead and got the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. And here is my review after a month of use. The Lenovo Legion 5 Pro is very heavily specced with an AMD Ryzen 5800 series processor, 32 GB DDR4 3200 MHz RAM, a 1 TB SSD, a glorious 16 inch wide QXGA IPS display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. It has 500 nits of brightness with an anti glare 165 Hz refresh rate and 100% sRGB with support for Dolby Vision, HDR400 and NVIDIA FreeSync. For graphics, it has a very powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 8GB GDDR6 GPU, a 300W slim tip power charger which powers the 4-cell 80W battery, a 720p webcam with a dedicated shutter on-off button and stereo speakers. The laptop weighs around 2.4 kilograms and Lenovo offers a 3-year on-site warranty on this laptop. Coming to the design and build, now other than the gorgeous 16-inch screen which we will come to later, the overall case design and build quality is probably my favorite part of this laptop. It's just plain excellent. I did not notice any creaks or anything abnormal that made it difficult or frustrating to handle. Opening the lid is a simple one-finger effort and the lip sticks out plenty enough to locate with your finger. The hinge is solid and doesn't wobble. The lid is rock solid also, as I detected no flex even from adjusting the lid at the corners. Now, under the hood is a full-size keyboard and a large trackpad, which we will also look into a little bit later. And above it is a large 16-inch 16 by 10 screen with very small bezels. The bottom bezel is a little bit larger, but very appealing to me as it's probably half the size of most other gaming laptops available. Centered above the screen is a small webcam. However, sadly, there are no biometrics with this one. One thing that was a bit strange was how far the screen went. The fact is, I fully expected this panel to fold back 180 degrees like my ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It's not that bad of an angle, but I would have preferred that angle plastic piece not to be there and they just let it go all the way back. I have no idea why that plastic piece is there other than to be just like a backstop. It just doesn't seem to do anything else. The exterior construction is primarily made of aluminium, but the palm rest area and the vents are made of durable plastic components. The entire unit really feels premium. The metal exterior has a matte finish and is grey in colour, which I love as it's really unique. Most gaming laptops are black and the grey colour here is a refreshing change and it's the perfect in-between colour which I really like. The grey matte finish is also a good balance where you maintain grip strength but doesn't show every oil that's in my fingertips. Even after a couple of weeks, it still looks great and I haven't had to wipe it down once. I can't say this for most other black laptops as it picks up oil and other marks over time. The lid is pretty plain looking with a, a couple of accent lines on the edges. There's a Y logo on the back which I personally like but uh, you can easily turn it off uh, by pressing function and L. By the way, if that light doesn't bother you while this laptop is in use, perhaps you will find that there are other ways that will bother you. If you're like me and shut your lid to enter sleep mode, prepare to just watch hours and hours of pulsating logo while it just sits there on your desk. For putting it off, just press function and L. So to summarize, huge thumbs up from me on the design of this laptop. It feels premium even though it's not all metal. Having no creaks in the casing or hinge is great. Plus, it looks very nice overall. Plenty of I.O. on this unit. Starting on the left, there's a single USB-C port along with the headphone microphone combo jack. On the left is a single USB-A port. Right next to that is a cool little switch that physically connects your webcam when not in use. Now that is a cool idea. The remainder of the I.O. is on the back of the laptop. Great for cable management. You get three additional USB-A ports Another USB-C port and this one supports PD charging which is power delivery, an HDMI 2.1 port 
and Ethernet. Unfortunately, there is no Thunderbolt on this unit and there is no card reader either. There is also a proprietary power connection on the back. It's both robust and easy to connect as it's also reversible. The keyboard on this model is okay. I feel like the keys are a little on the mushier side as it doesn't take a lot of force to depress the keys. The key travel is decent enough though and the longer I used it, the better I got at typing on it. What sticks out to me is how quiet it is. None of the keys make any noise with the exception of the space bar, but even that is pretty quiet. The keys are all plastic and have a concave curvature to them. This is very typical of Lenovo keyboards, making typing easier in my opinion. This curvature seems to help you center your keystrokes. It's a full-size keyboard layout with the numpad on this model. It's interesting because the numpad has smaller keys than the rest of the keyboard. But uh, that's fine, I actually like it. It's a better solution than cramping all of the keys together. The price you pay is the main keyboard is slightly offset to the left, but I barely noticed a problem with it. The only weakness in this keyboard is a little bit of flex in the chassis. I did notice it in, uh, with a little bit of flex, particularly around the D and the F keys. It doesn't interrupt how well I typed and uh, it's not really a deal breaker, but it is annoying to see, especially if you're the type who always looks at your hands while typing. For RGB, you get a four zone illumination on this model. Don't expect too much though, as the RGB options are really scarce. To me, the zones are pretty ugly, so I just opt for a single zone illumination or just keep it very simple. This is an older style of RGB illumination though, so there's plenty of light bleeding in the keys and the color isn't really consistent on the bottom of the numpad and the spacebar. The trackpad is also fine, it's plastic, so you won't really get the smooth feeling that you get with the glass trackpads. It tracks well though, and I had no issues with how accurate it was. I usually work with a mouse, so I really had no issues here. If I could nitpick, I would say that most competitor trackpads are actually aligned or really close to the left edge of the spacebar. Had Lenovo done this, I think it would have been really perfect. Arguably, the main draw to this laptop is the unique 16-inch screen. That's one of the reasons actually I went ahead and bought this laptop. It's an unusual size and it's because it comes with an uncommon 16 is to 10 aspect ratio. The resolution is 2560 by 1600, offering more than 10% vertical space than a traditional 16 is to 9 screen. At this screen size and resolution, the visuals are fantastic. The viewing angles are excellent, just like most other modern IPS screens out there. What really stood out to me was the peak brightness, being so close to 500 nits. This made a big difference when using the laptop next to a bright window. I still don't think it's enough to battle glare from direct sunlight, but I don't use my laptop outside much anyway. The screen refresh rate is 165Hz, which to me is more than enough speed for productivity and most gaming needs. Especially paired with that 3070 GPU, I think this is a good balance of refresh rate. You can also switch it to 60 Hz if you wanted to save on some battery life a little bit. I honestly have no complaints on this panel. Probably it could have had a little bit of more colors, but other than that, it's just perfect. The 16 is to 10 aspect ratio is also pretty nice to have. I didn't realize just how much I would like it until I really saw it in person. Not only is it good looking for productivity stuff, but it also suits well for games. The Legion 5 Pro comes with a Ryzen 7 5800H CPU under the hood, which is an octa-core processor that boosts up to 4.4 GHz. It's not only fast, but very power efficient at low power modes, and is pretty much one of the most des more desirable CPUs out there in the laptop space these days. Also bundled in this model is 16 GB of RAM, which is dual channel and clocked at 3200 MHz. There are two RAM modules and both can be upgraded if required. For storage, it has a one terabyte SSD, with decent read-write speeds. Last but not the least, this model has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 laptop GPU with a maximum TGP of 140 watts. This card includes 8 GB of GDDR6 VRAM, which for me was more than enough as I am a casual gamer. Here are some clips for your viewing pleasure. All these games were played at the highest settings and I could really get some decent FPS. I'm super happy with the performance.
yard, you will arrive at your destination. Season long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Paris Saint Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world. Mbappe! The Legion 5 Pro utilizes a unique cooling solution consisting of a mixture of large heat sinks, some heat pipes and a pair of large fans. It works well as it tames the Ryzen 7 5800H CPU quite well. The thermals are strictly controlled by the Lenovo Vantage software, which you get only three options to choose from. Balanced mode, performance mode and quiet mode. Balanced mode offers the best balance between quiet fans and decent performance. Performance mode will increase your TGP up to 140 watts and will allow the CPU to boost at 60 watts. In this mode, your fans will operate the same, but when you game, the fans will get much louder than before. Quiet mode is noticeably better on the fan noise, however your TDP gets limited to a mere 10 to 12 watts. Your TGP stays at 115 watts though. So if you're playing a game that requires not much of CPU usage, you might get good results with less fan noise. In this mode, the fans peaked at around 42 decibels. Quieter, but not exactly quiet. As you can see from all the three performance modes, the CPU stays at some pretty good temperatures. Having temperatures averaged at around 84 degrees Celsius in performance mode isn't really bad at all. And it even gets better in balanced or quiet mode. GPU temps are also well under control. Unfortunately, the fans cannot be controlled manually. Sound from the speakers is fine. Cranked all the way up, it can reach amplitudes as high as 80 decibels, which is good enough for streaming a show or something. The mids and highs sound just okay, but the bass is limited to as low as 100 Hz. Even so, the sound is decent for movie streaming or watching YouTube. 
but just don't expect your favorite song to sound like it does on some quality headphones or speakers. There's a HD webcam above the screen. It's not a biometric webcam unfortunately, but uh, it's actually pretty decent as far as uh, gaming webcams go. The colors could certainly be better. But what really stood out to me was how sharp the image was even in low light. The best part about this webcam is the fact that there is a kill switch to disable it. Call me crazy, but I always wonder about these webcams pointing at my face all day. and having such a switch to physically disable it when not needed is really appreciated so this is a sample from the uh, webcam of the lenovo legion 5 pro as you can see it's quite average the image quality and um, i'm speaking right into the laptop's microphone and uh, yeah it's a 720p webcam and the image quality is strictly okay so this is the webcam uh video quality from the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro so this is a test of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro webcam inbuilt webcam uh, as you can see the image quality is uh, strictly okay it's not all that great uh, and i'm speaking into the inbuilt microphone of the laptop so um, this is how it is my room is fairly well lit and uh, the image quality is okay not all that great it's a 720p webcam so that's how the image looks from the webcam of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro the Legion 5 Pro has an 80 watt hour battery which is a pretty decent size in order to get the best out of the battery you need to enable optimus by default the i gpu is disabled and g sync is on so in order to enable optimus you will need to go into lenovo vantage and check hybrid mode which is the mux switch after reboot optimus will be on and the i gpu will be used pretty impressive battery life for a gaming laptop i was able to type a pretty good amount of this review and do a lot of other stuff on a single charge needless to say i wasn't disappointed the power brick is 300 watts which is more than enough to power both the cpu and the gpu on this machine it's not very compact at all it fits in my bag but it's too wide to fit in my usual spot that i usually put chargers I purchased this laptop from Lenovo India's official website for about 1 lakh 69 thousand. I got a free Lenovo backpack with this laptop, and I could also negotiate for some additional discount on the price with uh, Lenovo directly. If you would like to save some money, there are also a couple of models with the 3060 GPUs, like the Lenovo Legion 5. Now, this laptop is also available on Amazon, but I found it a little bit more expensive. And uh, since you're buying a premium laptop, In my opinion it's better to buy it directly from Lenovo. Lenovo support is really good and I have had no issues yet. So when you get right down to it, the Legion 5 Pro is an excellent laptop in so many ways. Of course, the main draw is the 16 inch 16 is to 10 screen which is both bright and beautiful but also unique to just a select few laptops at the time of this review. The appeal doesn't end there either. The build quality is excellent. the battery life is above average and the performance is about as good as it gets and the price for these specs i feel is just right my only nitpicks are probably this slightly mushy keyboard seriously though these are really minor and i could really adjust with the keyboard over time my typing has got noticeably better while typing this review and i think it's probably one of the quietest keyboards i've ever used i think the main thing you need to ask is if it's the right size and weight if your sights are on a 16 inch gaming laptop solution you're probably narrowed down to this model the HP Omen 16 or even the Asus Zephyrus M16 but considering those three this is both the larger and the heavier of the bunch now again this is a laptop you would want to use ideally on a desk like i'm doing and not carry it around a lot as it is quite heavy The fact is even though it's technically a 15 inch chassis it's kind of a large 15 inch chassis 
and uh, shouldn't be confused with your thin and light alternatives. It's not the width, but more on the depth due to the vents in the back. It's nearly the exact same size as an Alienware M15 R5. So if you're looking at that as one of your options, I think the Legion 5 Pro is a sure thing to consider as well. Regardless of what screen size you're looking for, even if you're just shopping for a new gaming laptop in general, I think the Legion 5 Pro is a good option right now. I believe the overall value is just spot on. Can't really think of a better way to put it really. In fact, if you see Dave 2D's channel, which I will also link down in the description, he has highly rated this laptop in his one of his top 10 review laptops. So is it for me? Absolutely, it has satisfied my need for a desktop replacement since I needed a laptop with a bigger screen, high resolution, high refresh rate, and for casual gaming. So that wraps up this review. I hope it'll help you in your buying decision. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Also, please leave your comments. So stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video.